Hello there, it's Karen Hollenbach from Think Bespoke and today I'd like to talk to you about the featured section that you'll find on your LinkedIn profile. Now this section has been around since I'd say March 2020 and it was rolled out fairly slowly and what I find really interesting about this feature is that a lot of people I have trained since then simply were not aware of this feature. So the reason I like it is because of uh, the fact that it will really encourage people that are looking at your profile for the first time to potentially binge watch you like a Netflix series. So please allow me to explain. The featured section can be found if you don't, um, if you've currently got links attached to your LinkedIn profile, it can currently be found after the about section of your LinkedIn profile. Now, if you've never put any links at the end of your summary or about section, you'll need to go to the add profile section at the top of your LinkedIn profile and click down to featured. Now, when you click down on featured, LinkedIn will give you the option to include posts, articles, links, or media, and it seems to be limitless. So what I mean by that is you, I haven't come across anyone yet that's hit a limit on how many links you can attach. Now, if you have a fantastic website, a great blog, a podcast, this can be the place that you house each of those on your profile and point people to find out more about you. If you've done a TED talk, if you've got a YouTube video, this is also the place to share that information. Now, I really, really like the featured section because it's an opportunity for you to also curate your most popular link, LinkedIn posts and your most popular LinkedIn articles. The one thing I don't like about it is that for those of you that have taken the time to build up a really nice library of LinkedIn articles, it really does, I guess, deprioritize them in the LinkedIn profile experience. So let me explain that. What used to happen is I would encourage clients to really use their the sort of the LinkedIn article publishing as a way to showcase some of the key uh, ways that they can help their clients or their key views of the world or their sort of very helpful um, how-tos or uh, perspec perspectives on their subject matter expertise. And they would naturally then just be housed within your LinkedIn profile under the about section. Now with the featured section, the only way you can now showcase your LinkedIn articles for completely new members, pe people who are not currently connected with you that are researching you and find you on LinkedIn or connections who are having a look at your LinkedIn profile or have perhaps forwarded your LinkedIn profile to another connection to say, hey, check out this person's details. The only way they're going to be able to see your LinkedIn article is in the featured section. So if you've got some, and you have to make a point of featuring them, they don't just default to sitting in the featured section. So my LinkedIn marketing, my five minute tip or my quick tip for you today is to curate all of the content that you think is relevant to be showcasing from your LinkedIn profile, to be considering previous articles that you've written, to be considering blog posts from your website, particular pages from your website, media, so PDF documents and photos that you want to share, and any really popular posts that you've had um, you've posted on LinkedIn that you'd like to curate there. You can reorder them, um, but you can't influence the picture LinkedIn pulls from your website or external links. So really take the time to have a look at the featured section, read more detail in the article I've included in the show notes and make the most of this section of your profile when new people are having a look at your profile and deciding if you're for them Give them a chance to binge watch the relevant or read, binge watch or read the relevant information about you. Thanks for listening. If we're not already connected on LinkedIn, please do pop over there and invite me to connect. And if you'd like exclusive offers on our LinkedIn training and these LinkedIn marketing tips delivered to your inbox each month, please also sign up to my eInsights.
Until next time. Mm-hmm.